scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. So Halloween is here. To be honest, the reason that I'm excited is because it marks the beginning of real holidays to me. But a lot of people love Halloween. I enjoyed it as a kid. It's an excuse to eat candy, which I enjoyed. But there's one other thing that I really loved about Halloween, and that's graveyard pudding. It's just chocolate pudding with like some, some broken up Oreo kind of crumbs or graham cracker crumbs, just like made into a graveyard. For some reason I love it, kids love it. It's a great thing for a Halloween party, which I know a lot of people do. It's fun, it looks cool. It's just something festive to do for Halloween. So let's just get right into it. First thing is we gotta make the pudding. We can make pudding from scratch, but um, there's really just no point. Like jello pudding is pretty good what we grew up on and it's what this recipe mainly calls for so we're just gonna make this we're going to use two packages of the chocolate pudding and these are the 3.9 ounce I believe there's a bigger size than this so get these two packets three cups of cold milk Now I want to make whipped cream. So I have a pint of whipped cream here, heavy whipping cream. It's been in the freezer for a little bit so it's super cold. The key to whipping cream is just making sure it's super, super cold. Having a big bowl helps because you're just trying to whip air into it. So the more space you have to whip air into it, the faster you're going to do it. So don't try to do it in like a tiny little bowl. You want to put these in the freezer, the bowl in the freezer, get them cold, that helps too. One cup heavy whipping cream. So I'm just putting most of the whipped cream into the pudding and I'm reserving a little bit of whipped cream to try and make little little ghosts that sit on the graveyard. It's Mario's. and add about a half cup to a cup of it to the pudding. Now put these in the fridge for about 40 minutes to an hour, let that set up while we decorate and I do all the rest of the stuff. So we got gummy worms to come out of the ground. Got some festive candies, some um, little pumpkins, candy corn, We've got some eyeballs. I'm gonna try to make some ghosts with whipped cream. We got some icing gel. These are cool because like you don't have to do much and they're already in there and you can draw with them so that we can make gravestones with these guys. So depending on how much of this you make is gonna depend on the, the size container you're, you're gonna use. I'm gonna use one of these guys. You can probably do it in one of these too. That gives you more of like a party presentation. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. Scary skeletons are 
So there you have it. This is gonna make kids lose their minds. It's delicious. I double this recipe if you're doing a big party. This probably feeds six, eight people maybe. All those textures just make it super interesting and fun, but it's also easy to make. You know, we're not really cooking anything. We're using jello, chocolate pudding, and um, just making it look fun. So that's it, happy Halloween. And uh, it's time to get on to Thanksgiving. So Totally spooked right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a, a happy and safe Halloween tomorrow. Probably gonna do my um, tradition of watching Ghost Adventures on Halloween. That's what I like. But you know, to each their own. Maybe I throw a little nightmare before Christmas in there. You know, that's how I am. If you want to pick up some sweatshirts, some not another cooking show stuff, support the show. There's some links down below. It's getting time for holidays, so if you need equipment, I have an Amazon store down below that I've gone through. I've added notes and commentary to each things. I've organized it by things that are essential, things that would be nice to have, different price points for each. So go to my Amazon store, check it out. Anything you buy in there, I make a little bit of money, even if you don't buy anything that I'm suggesting. Just you shopping through the link is a way to support the show. So if you're into that kind of thing, now you know. And um, that's all I have today. Have a safe time and go feed yourself, okay? Not too much candy. <laughs>